Investigators are just beginning to piece together what led to a deadly shooting at the Marine Corps base in Quantico, Virginia. This is what we do know. It all began around 11 o'clock last night with an initial shooting. The suspect then barricading himself inside the barracks, forcing the base to be locked down for hours. Let's get right to NBC's Jim Miklaszewski. Mick, what can you tell us this morning? Good morning, Matt. This morning here at Quantico um, Marine Corps Base south of Washington, D.C., three Marin Marines are dead, two men, one woman, in what Marine Corps officials are describing as some kind of personal dispute and what several Marines are calling a relationship that involved a love triangle. Now, at about 11 o'clock last night, one of the male Marines shot another one to death in one of the barracks. He then fled to a separate set of barracks. Uh, while the base was on lockdown, he barricaded himself in a room in that barracks with a female Marine. Four hours later, about three in the morning, Marine security officials entered that room, found both of the Marines dead, the woman apparently shot by the gunman, who then died of apparently of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in what is obviously a murder-suicide. The entire, uh, the entire base was locked down for hours. It's up and running again this morning, but obviously uh, the Quantico Marine base is in total shock. We just ask for everyone's uh, prayers and, and thoughts uh, for the families who are affected by this tragedy. And then uh, we ask also that uh, you, know, you give us time so that we can sort out the details and get you guys the accurate information. All three of the Marines are believed to be enlisted. They were instructors at the officers' candidate school. A gun was found on the scene, a handgun believed to be a personal weapon. The investigation is underway, Matt. All right, Jim Mikoshevsky in Quantico for us this morning. Mick, thank you very much.